Hi everyone, this is Felicia with FP Handmade coming at you with a craft haul video. I have some items that I purchased from Cricut, Honey Bee, Reverse Confetti, Pretty Pink Posh, Scrapbook.com, Tuesday morning. So let's get started. So the first thing I'll show you is what I purchased from Scrapbook.com. I purchased this Julie Nutting Blush 30 sheet uh, six by six paper pad and I purchased this because it indicated that it was really good to use with the uh, Julie Nutting um, dolls as far as their clothing it's um, five designs it's double sided and they look really pretty you see there and I also picked up this paper pad. It's a um, 8.27 times 11.69 uh, paper pad and it's called Bluff. Buff. And what it is is the um, sheets that you can use for the body for the dolls. I was watching um, Rebecca Creates channel and she showed how she used this and I thought it was perfect because it shows the different shades that you can use for the dolls from light to um, dark. So I thought I would try that. I haven't really used my Prima dolls yet, but um, I mean the Julie Nutting dolls, but I'm excited because uh, I was worried about coloring them or using the right shade of paper, and this will work perfectly. And then I placed an order through Cricut. I've placed several orders of paper recently because they've been having such a great paper sale. And I also picked up a few pens. I picked up the silver and a couple of gold. And then they actually had the black pen and a fine point. So I'm excited to use this, um, to try this for my writing um, using the tr Cricut. And this is a point four, so that's pretty fine point. Um, so like I said, I picked up these. They were extremely inexpensive, uh, about three for myself and three for a co-worker. So that's from Cricut. Uh, let's see, from Honey Bee, I purchased this Yippee stamp, and um, then it has the die cut where it cuts out the yippee, really small, and then a little bigger, and then in the dotted yippee. I should have printed, uh, cut this out to show you guys. I apologize for that. But I've been having some trouble with my cuddle bug recently, and yesterday I just was really frustrated with it and just kind of thought I'd come back to it later to see what was going on. And they also sent me a free... Uh, stencil, which I thought was really sweet. They, uh, I don't have a stencil like this, and uh, so I'm excited to try to use that. And they also sent a very small um, little stamp of a bee, and I thought, this thing is so little, I'm going to lose it, and I can't find it. So <laughs> I hope you know, I'll run across it, maybe it fell on the floor, and it's so tiny that I just don't see it. But I normally don't lose things, so I'm very uh, sad that I've lost that. Uh, from Reverse Confetti, I picked up this really cute uh, sentiment set, One Day at a Time. Um, it had some really beautiful sentiments on there. Hello, beautiful. Um, you are loved. Thinking of you. You've got this. One Day at a Time. And Brave, Brilliant, and Resilient. Um, so I thought the, the uh, handwriting or the font or whatever you want to call it was really nice and so when I initially saw this, I had to have it. So I ordered it. And then from Pretty Pink Posh, which is kind of hard to say, I ordered this really adorable little birdie. And it says just a little note. And it has the little envelopes and the little tiny heart and star. And he is so cute. And um, I got the die, uh, coordinating die. So I can cut him out. But I figured it wouldn't be too hard to color him. Um, you know, I'm not that best of a colorist. So hopefully I can. Or I can just stamp him on some yellow paper. He's adorable. So I had to have him. And then I also picked up some uh, sequins. I've made some sequins. Uh, 
shaker cards recently and I was looking at my sequins and I wasn't very happy with them so I ordered some from Pretty Pink Posh some of these um, I guess you call it mixes and this is the summer mix how pretty is that and then this is the summer mix too I think this is the smaller version so you can see the difference there and then I got the wildflower mix those colors are so gorgeous. And then this is the nature mix. Sorry about the glare. Ooh. And then this one is the enchanted garden mix. That pink and purple really are pretty in there. And I think this is the springtime mix, yeah. And not only does it have the... Um, sequence in there. It has some little flowers or as you can see there. Really adorable. And then I just got some larger gold ones because I ran out. And these are so um like I said I I've ordered I've ordered some sequence from them way back when and it's been a while so I thought I'd try some more and I see why everyone loves these um little mixes because they really are pretty and, and um, the colors coordinate very well. So the next, of course, is Tuesday morning. So everyone has been hauling all the Martha Stewart stuff and I thought, well, my last video I showed a uh, few things that I purchased. Well, when I went back to my Tuesday morning, they had a couple of more things that I wanted to try. And one was this Martha Stewart's Glittering Glue. Now I don't like glitter, so you're wondering probably then why did I purchase this glittering glue? It's uh, 49 cent because yeah, I bought some glitter. I mean it's just so pretty. I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use it though because I just glitter frightens me when it when it gets everywhere. So it's one of my phobias. <laughs> so, and then this one is the gold. But it was so pretty, and when I saw this one, I was just like, wow, I got to get over this glitter thing. So maybe you'll see some projects or some cards that I actually use some glitter in. I don't know. We'll see. Um, then I also purchased this Craft Glue by Martha Stewart. Even though I am really um, using only one type of adhesive now, and that is the uh, glue from... Um, Oh, I can't think of the name of it. The glitter glue from, uh, I can't think of the name of it. Sorry. But I thought I'd keep, take this to work because I'm always doing something at work where I need some glue, some tape, and things of that nature. So, we, and since it was only, um, I think it's 49 cent, I thought I'd take it and have so I could have it at work. Um, then I picked up some other items. I picked up these uh, Heidi Swap little baby stamps well they're not baby stamps they're just small and these and then from little b i picked up a couple of these stickers they're adorable how cute and then i found these little stamps from um imagine these keep i don't know how to pronounce that but anyway, it's a little <laughs> lion. Milk and cookies. And then I got two of the little deer. And um, like I said, these are little small stamps, but I just thought they were really cute. And I probably would pass them on to a friend. And then I've seen everyone picked up these Belarus um, butterfly. And um, I have wanted these. And... Luckily, when I went into the Tuesday morning a couple of days ago, uh, there they were. I, I was so shocked to see them. And, of course, I didn't see another pack, but one pack is fine for me. I'm not trying to hoard the craft world, all the crafts in the world. And then I found this pink paisley take-me-away bows. And these were interesting. Um, they look like they're made out of felt or some imitation leather leather or maybe real leather I don't know but I like them a lot and I picked those up 
And then I picked up the Martha Stewart flowers. I'm a big fan of flowers, and these Martha Stewart flowers always um, are so easy to work with to make a card, and especially when I'm making one last minute. And so then I also picked up these butterflies. They are the adhesive borders, which I may not use them in that capacity as a border per se, but I thought they were lovely. So those are the Martha Stewart sticker adhesive butter borders. And then last but not least, I purchased these cute little birds, um, glitter ribbon. Uh, I don't know, maybe it was the 49 cent that attracted me, but the birds are gorgeous. I don't really like birds in real, you know, when they're real, because they kind of creep me out. I guess I got a lot of issues with birds and glitter. But anyway, <laughs> I picked these up because they were so pretty. And maybe just to uh, rub on an envelope when you're mailing something. Um, sorry about the glitter there. I mean, the kind of got glitter on the brain. Sorry about the glare. So anyway, that's my haul. And hope you enjoyed it. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.